values of our random variable. Alright, so in getting the values of our random variable, we will be using the concept of tree diagram. Okay, so have you seen a tree diagram? If not, a tree diagram looks like this. So a tree diagram looks like this. So what is the use of a tree diagram? A tree diagram is a visual way in writing sample space to calculate probabilities. Alright, so this is a, the simplest way on how to get the values of our random variable or probabilities. Okay, so how do we do a tree diagram? So I will be illustrating how to make a tree diagram. So we also have the two types of random variable. Okay, first type of random variable is what we call the discrete random variable. And when we say discrete, we are talking about exact values. Okay, what are those exact values? So, for example, we have 1, 100, 50, or 20. Alright, so whole numbers. Okay, so we also have the second type of random variable, which is continuous random variable. So, for discrete, we have an exact values. Therefore, if we talk about continuous random variable, values are not exact. So, they are opposites. So, for example, we have 1.5, 2.5, and 3.3. Alright. So, we all can also apply the concept of discrete random variable in some uh, real-life situations. So, for example, age of a girl. Okay. So, age of a girl. Of course, we are talking about exact numbers. For example, 16, 20, 23. Yan. And we also have Number of students, all right? So, for example, in our section, how many students are there? All in all, you are 46, okay? So, there is no decimal point or walang, ano, walang sobra, all right? Hindi naman pwedeng sabing 46.5. Oh, may kalahating tao ba sa inyo? Siyempre, wala. Kaya, 46, exacto. And also, number of deaths related to COVID-19. Yan, so ilan na ba ang namamatay as of now? Yan, so syempre meron tayong exact number. Hindi naman pwedeng 8,000 and a half. Oh, dahil wala namang kalahating tao. Okay? So, nagkukuha nyo ba yung concept ng discrete random variable? Yes, so, ang mga numbers ay eksakto. Walang sobra, walang labis. Okay? So, therefore, continuous random variable naman, pwede rin siyang makita in real-life situations. So, for example, weight of a baby or your weight. ba? So, what is your weight? So, for example, Ang weight ni Michelle, 45.5. O, oh, ba? Meron siyang sobra or merong decimal number. Height of a boy. Ayan. So, gano'ng kakatangkad? Noah. Okay. 5.2. O, oh, diba? Ganon. And amount of sugar in a coffee. Ayan. 
amount of sugar mixed in a coffee. Oh, wrong grammar yan. Pansinin niyo na naman. <laughs> yan, amount of sugar mixed in a coffee. Ayan, so, kapag ikikilo mo or isusukat mo siya, syempre, in grams yan. So, pwedeng 2 grams, 2 po, ay 2.5 grams, 2.3 grams, ganun. Ayan, so, continuous random variable.